All right, so I did verify which wires are what. I got this green wire here, which is from my Holly system to control the fuel. And then I have a tan wire right there that uh, on the black connector that I'll tap into. So now that I know that that's good, I feel confident now uh, buttoning this up. And I'm gonna grab a few panels to just verify things are lining up before I actually permanize permanize into the uh, system. So we're gonna give that a shot. That kind of wore me out. There's something like 80 something <laughs> rivets. Doesn't look like much, but it's a lot. And this is the hardest thing to kind of get to fit in. At one point it perfectly fit in with a little bit of muscle and I just had to redraw a few holes. So no big deal. Uh, still have the panel loose and I can't put any of the insulation in yet until I get those panels finished. So that's gonna come later. Uh, probably after we align the doors, which that's a little scary. So that's that. I'm going to go ahead and silicone. There's a lot of little little holes and stuff like that that could be uh, filled in. So I'm going to go ahead. Plus, you know where the weld joints are. See that right there. So I'm going to go ahead and fill all that stuff in and. Uh, and then this is the moment where you need to keep going because if you stop because you're exhausted, you're just going to not do anything for the next 10 hours. 
<laughs> so, I think I'm going to take the battery off and try to get this panel on. And uh, so far, so good. I'm not smelling any gas fumes, which I've been constantly smelling gas fumes. So hopefully uh, we fix that. The big test will be when I leave the garage, come back in the morning, and what does it smell like? So that's the big test. Because um, I used to smell that smell when I had a gas leak in my caravan. And uh, so I'm really like sensitive to even nuances where other people don't smell it, I smell it. So, uh, so that's what's going on. I'm gonna probably remove this and try to get this panel in. And then I'll feel like I actually accomplished a lot today, so. So I'm actually doing this wrong. I mean, it's kind of wrong, kind of right. Uh, this does need to go behind this panel. So I'm going to remove this panel, get this side on, get that side on and kind of see where we're going from that point on. But the holes aren't lining up. It's bubbling up. I think the gas tank, <laughs> it's where it's at, which is probably different than where it was uh, when the car first came. It's probably a uh, eighth of an inch back so that might cause some problems but we'll see what we can do I know it's noisy, but I have air conditioning in my garage. Oh, uh, that's funny. So, I did a lot of work here, and we got everything to kind of button up, get all into place. Then there's a, a panel that comes out here to the, to the body of the car, which uh, just gets like siliconed and then riveted there. And these little spots here, so you could get your hand up in there and tighten the trunk. Because before I used to do it from this side, but now that this is here, it's a little crazy. If we if we still put the the hinge, do we want to call it the hinge? I guess the arm. Uh, if it's still bolted to the trunk, and then you slip it in, then you'll still do it from the other side. Otherwise, you have these little things to go through and get your hand in. Same thing with here. So we're doing pretty good here. This I finally figured out. You have to tilt it uh, yeah, up on an angle this way and then get it over the gas filler and then you can bring it down. So that's the easiest way in. Oh man, a lot of work, a lot of work. Putting in a full day today. So I'm gonna tear all this back down and I think I'm gonna put it in place for real. And then that's probably uh, calling it quits for today.
you can see we have this beautiful trunk area all dialed in sealed just needs the floor pan and got the wires coming in here and then it comes in and it goes out the floor pan and then to the license plate so this is all looking pretty good I guess I could use some kind of sealant in here so I'll come to that and this when I get a chance but this was a little bit of a bear but uh, I got everything sealed up ready to go everything's there sealed and sealed so I haven't done that yet I've got like a little hole there kind of want to get some things figured out here but all in all uh, we made some great leaps forward and I'm not smelling gas so can't wait till tomorrow morning to see what happens I'd be a happy man because uh, for two and a half years I've been smelling gas <laughs> So I got, I would say probably half, half of my stuff down on the car. And uh, these are kind of the erroneous panels that I have marked because I figured out where they were like a year and a half ago, but I really don't know where they go. Um, somewhere, those will say driver's side top, something up here, don't, don't really know. And then the other one, I don't know, it goes something like, like this. I'm not sure which side this is. So, in any case, maybe I might be able to put that on after the body's on because I have to adjust it to the body with the uh, weather stripping. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy. That's a big, big, big leap forward. And parts are starting to go on the car and out of my house. So that's a really good thing, too. So still a little cluttered, but uh, we're getting there. And uh, until next time, have a great day.